Hey, what's up YouTube? Down the smartphone guy coming back at you with another video. And today we're going to talk about this device right here. This is the ZTE Blade Force. So this is another new device from ZTE. And no, it's not the Axon M. And no, it doesn't fold. But uh, this is a very budget friendly device that you can pick up right now at Boost Mobile. It's an exclusive Boost Mobile phone for $100. So it's a very budget friendly device. Let's go ahead and talk about what all this thing has to offer at that price point. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the specs on this device. So first thing you'll notice is that 5.5 inch IPS LCD display, which is 720p. So not too bad for a phone at this price point. You can see up here we have a five megapixel camera and then we have a eight megapixel camera on the rear. In terms of the battery, we have a built in 3000 milliamp hour battery, which is non-removable. We have a speaker back here and then we have a micro USB cable for charging it, which is, of course is included in the box. Now there is no fast charging on this phone, um, so it will take a little while to charge up that 3000 milliamp hours but thankfully the battery lasts quite a while uh, which we'll talk about a little bit um, so in terms of internal storage we have 16 gigs of internal storage but that is expandable via micro SD card um, so I'll go ahead and show you that right here um, so you can see that um, one thing that is really nice is that they do give you the option of using that internal uh, that SD card as internal storage um, which is going to be useful because I found that once I had the very few apps that I put on here uh, there was only five gigs of internal storage remaining so you'll definitely want to add in an SD card onto this phone so that you have a little bit more than just that five gigs of internal storage um, left over so in terms of the processor we have a Snapdragon 427 processor that's clocked at 1.4 gigahertz um, and then we have a two gig RAM, two gigs of RAM built into the phone as well um, so let's go ahead and talk now about the build um, so one thing you'll notice of course is the fact that this is a plasticky phone we have a uh, textured back here which isn't too bad I, I kind of like that textured back um, personally obviously it's not going to be a super premium uh, build quality here we don't have metal we don't have uh, glass on the back we have a plastic build but at least it doesn't collect fingerprints right um, in terms of the power button you can see nice uh, textured power button and then we have our volume rocker there as well on the top we have a headphone jack so that's a thumbs up and we have a uh, microphone there and on the bottom we also have another noise canceling microphone so build quality wise um, certainly not uh, the most premium of devices but still not too bad overall so in terms of performance let's go ahead and jump into this benchmark here so you can see that i did run a uh Geekbench score a little bit earlier. So in terms of the single core score, we have a 687 and multi-core score is 1886. You can see that we're running Android 7.1.1 with 1.8 gigs of RAM. So on paper, it says two gigs of RAM, but it's usually never exactly that. And you can see that we have a quad core processor. But in terms of performance, I would say that this phone does perform quite well overall. Um, let's go ahead and just kind of do some multitasking here and just see how it does so you can see it did kind of have to take a second to load that up let's go to the camera here i'm um, so i was using the camera a little bit earlier so not too bad um we're going to skip the game for now we'll come back to that in a little bit but let's go ahead and try youtube so it looks like it's going to have to reload YouTube. That two gigs of RAM, you know, not too bad. Um, but what I found is that in general for social media, this phone does, it, you will experience some lag, obviously. Um, it's not a flagship phone. Um, but in terms of gaming performance, you know, I was playing Beach Buggy Racing earlier. Um, I'm actually going to show you a little bit of the gaming performance a little bit later. Um, but gaming performance isn't too bad. Um, so the games I tried out on it, NBA Jam, Madden NFL, and uh, Beach Buggy Racing, all three of them perform quite well. Um, so overall, Overall, I would say that um, for a budget phone, you're going to get some pretty decent performance out of this phone. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the cameras on this device. So I already mentioned that there's a five megapixel camera on the front and an eight megapixel camera on the rear. Now, both of those shoot in 1080p, which uh, for a phone at this price point, isn't too bad. Um, and then in terms of cameras, one of my favorite features is the fact that there's like almost zero shutter lag. So you saw how fast that took that picture. And that's true in both the front and the rear cameras. Now, in terms of the actual quality of the fo photos, um, you can see here in low light, yeah, obviously pictures are going to come out a little bit grainy, certainly not as good 
good as a flagship device, but pretty decent details overall. It's certainly not going to be uh, competitive with a phone that's like $800, $900, but the details aren't too bad when it comes to both the front and the rear facing cameras. Now, in terms of the video, you can see a couple of videos that I shot here. There is no image stabilization, so you're either going to want a gimbal or something like that if you're going to be shooting um, some video where you're actually going to be moving, but you can see front facing camera, not too bad there. Pretty good details, and uh, this is actually a really good picture where we have the frog. You can see uh, the frog has some nice details to it, so I wasn't real close to him. You can see I was a little ways away, and uh, picked up some pretty decent details. Here's a good picture of a barn, uh, kind of an older barn, and then uh, you can see that uh, it has some nice details when it comes to the clouds in the background, um, but overall I would say the camera quality is not too bad for a phone at this price point. So let's go ahead and talk about the battery. So you can see right now that it's just after midnight, and I'm at 10% that's pretty common I would say for my average daily usage with this phone I would say in general I'm finishing most days with about 10 to 20 percent battery um, so for most uh, people, I would say with moderate usage, you'll easily get through a day. If you're moderate to high usage, you might have to charge up um, maybe in the evening. But overall, I would say in general, this 3000 milliamp hour battery does perform quite well. Um, and for the most part, it should get most people through an average day. Now let's go ahead and talk about the software. Uh, so software wise, this is running Android 7.1.1, as we mentioned earlier. And uh, basically this is just pretty much stock Android. There's really not a whole lot added to stock Android on here. The one thing I will complain about when it comes to the software is the fact that Boost Mobile, so this is more of a Boost Mobile problem than a ZTE problem, is the fact that they throw on so many apps on here. Um, and then when you go into the software as well, you can see that none of these apps are actually in the phone, but they suggest all these apps. So you can get rid of this, like if you want to get rid of that uh, whole thing. Um, none of these apps are actually on there, but they're basically just suggesting that you try them out. Um, so that's just a little bit annoying, um, but that's not a ZTE thing. That's more of a Boost Mobile thing. But overall, ZTE does a great job of pretty much just giving you stock Android on this device. Now let's go ahead and uh, take a listen to the speaker on the back of this phone. So we'll go into YouTube and uh, listen to a uh, song here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put this right up to my microphone now so you guys can get a better idea of what it sounds like. So I would say the sound quality of the speaker actually isn't too bad. Um, but one thing I will definitely complain about is the fact that it's rear facing and uh, not only is it rear facing, but it's not the loudest of speakers either. So um, obviously if you're gonna want um, to listen to some music or watch videos on this, I would recommend probably plugging in uh, some headphones or listening to Bluetooth uh, with this phone. So definitely not the loudest of loudspeakers. So when it comes to speaker phone, um, if you're gonna be using this for a speaker phone, you're probably gonna wanna have your phone face down so that you can hear the personal little bit better. Um, so overall, I would say for $100, this is not a bad option for Boost Mobile. In fact, I would say it's a pretty good option. There's not a whole lot to complain about with this phone. The camera quality is pretty good. The battery life is pretty good. Performance is not too bad. And again, we're talking about a $100 phone. So overall, this is definitely a phone worth checking out if you're on Boost Mobile. So the ZTE Blade Force. Uh, hopefully this video has been helpful for you. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.